The spring thaw is almost on. The water looks good right now. We're in western Wisconsin and I'm doing a little bit of scouting here today on a little bit of water. Beautiful looking. Getting a little colored already and if it gets too warm today, the water is going to get very unmanageable. The wind is supposed to get strong too. So I don't know if we're going to be doing more music and less audio. We'll just have to check that out. But if you want to go fishing, we're going to start right here. And I think we'll get something. I think we're going to get a few fish today. It's going to be fun. Well, let's check it on out and see what it has to offer. Ooh, look at that. Okay, I'm going to stop trying to catch them and just push them in. I could not get a handle on them. They just twisting and twisting. Yeah, we have number one. I think I'll get them in here. Just right in between all these logs. Oh, did he swallow that thing? Oh yeah, this is down in there. I'll use my tools to get him out. It's a bigger spinner so I can get down in the holes and it has a lot of flash. Come on. Come on. Careful. Careful. Just, uh, it's winched in there. I can't get at it here. Get a better look. Right there. There we go. It was kind of opposing each other. But there we go. Very well. Fish number one. And we're going to get a lot of fish today. I know we are. It's one of these areas where you just get a lot, a lot of fish. That way. And this way. Beautiful fish. Here we go. Got another one. Wrapped himself up. Right in the log here. Nice looking. I might get a couple here, but I don't have much line out. This is about all... Oh, there he goes. I don't have much line out. This is about all the line I have out. Just casting straight across this little spot. Go right down here in the depth. Go crosswise and let something grab it down in there. Ooh, that's a nice eager little one. They're not going to be larger fish like we get on the rush, but um, we're going to run into a large amount of fish, I believe, today. And they're all going to be like about like this. I work for them a little bit because the water's a little colored up. They're taking it. They're catching up to it and they're grabbing it. There we go. Off the bottom. And out of the top. Good looking fish. Oh, number three. Yes, I can't wait to see if I do run into any large fish because there is some big ones in here. And we'll have to see if I run into one today because the water is starting to color up and it's like three, four times normal volume. I think I might have mentioned that. And this here little run got about five, six little bumps, and then I actually caught one. But they're not hitting it wholeheartedly today. It's fun just trying to pick one out here and there. Hear all them turkeys up there? There is a whole bunch of turkeys right in the canyon next to me. Big old toms. The yelping little hens. Okay, I think I got the eager guy out of this one. Let's move up a little farther. I know you're not supposed to show the sun in your camera, but I want you guys to see the, the sun dogs today. It's up and around the sun. It's big rings, a, a rainbow ring around the sun. It's just gorgeous. It goes up and around, all the way around to there. It's a rainbow of, uh, what they call a sun dog. So that is really cool. I hope I don't do my uh, camera any damage with the old sun there. But that is really cool. I hope you can see it. in these branches. I didn't even get too far into them. I'm gonna catch more here. Old number four here. I think it's a brown. Yeah, I can see. It's a brown. Yeah, this thing's on. Oh, he's a little chunker. For this here stream, he's a little chunker. Oh, yeah. Let's see, he uh, measures all the way up to about a 13-incher. Nice 13-incher, small speckly little guy. Pretty, 
real nice. Ready to go? Are you? Okay. Says, yeah, I haven't had it with the camera. I think we can catch another one out of here. I just started to dip into this. This is very nice looking. And dive bomb. Yes, I got him. Yes. Whoa. Let him back in the water. Oh. You see, this one is a little bit smaller. All right. Nice fish. Number five. Yeah, see, he's only 11 inches. He's just a fat, chubby little 11. 11. I'm number five. If I can get another one. This is cool. Nice spot. Real good spot here. Right back in there. Oh, I went over the tip of that. But under there is where I should get him. Oh, there's something. Come on. Come on. Oh, I seen a little late shadow. He came zooming out and went back in too. As I snagged a little vine or something. And up above we have the sandhill cranes moving back in. You can hear them whooping up a storm. <laughs> Whatever they do, you know. Yeah, that. Oh, right up front. You look at them sticks floating up there. Oh, right out of the really right. This one's a nicer fish. Look at how fatty is. I can feel his weight. He's got some good weight on him. Come on up there. Oh, he's got his head wrapped around the string a whole bunch now. Look at the size of this guy in these small rapids. I just had a small one hit there too. Look at how fat this guy is. Oh, is he a nice one. Oh, is he really, he's feeding real good. Now let's see how we get him off of there. Oh, untie this guy around the flim. There we go, he came off, see that? Oh, look at how fat this guy is. He is El Chabola, look at how fat he is. So big. Right about there, 13 and a half, and just nice and chubby. He's gonna be a brute someday, look at that. Just a brute. Oh, number six is just a belly fuck. Gorgeous looking fish, oh my. Oh, gotta go, zoom, zoom away. Keep going, keep going. There you go, he took off. Right out in front of us in this little bitty run. Watch, I'm gonna go across this little thing again, and we'll see if we can get one. I know we're going to get a lot of fish today. Oh yeah, right out of the rapids. When you least expect it, they show right up. Old number seven here. And these usually, oh my. Here we go. At least they're not uh, swallowing it so deep that I have to use the old hemostat on them all the time. Nice looking guy. He's only, oh, got ten and a half. Beautiful little fryer, huh? Old number seven, Mad Jack would say, old number seven. You know Mad Jack from Grizzly Adams? Yeah, right here, just right here. Here, I only have this much line up. See if I can get one here. Watch this, right like this. Just like that, and we should be able to get one. But right there, see that? See that? Okay, that's what I'm talking about. That's all you need to do here is hold the lure in the water sideways and anybody well that was pretty neat that little one wanted to cooperate just like that let's do it right up here once oh let's see what's in the big pool i can't see down in there to see how much depth we've got but it looks kind of nice oh look at that that was a big fish too there's a sand shelf and then a drop and that big one i mean it was that big one didn't hit it i seen a nice fish oh my i hope i get that bigger one hey you should have seen how nice that was so pretty big and wide. down in here in a nice little pocket there's a nice fish I can hear my line singing mmm he's going back up in there this one ain't flopping he knows how to 
swim he does oh nice fish what a 14 what a nice 14 probably the biggest one of the day let's go get him and measure him nice fish come on there buddy maybe not 14 maybe yes let's see Oh, 14, 14 and a quarter, 14 and a half. Oh, nice number eight. Beautiful. As the wood duck goes by. Yo, Woody. Two pair of them. They must be getting excited because they've seen my fish. Yeah, right. All right. I look at this little pocket, and it was right in there. So nice right in here i'll do that again i'll just hang my line in there a little bit from the upside and let's see what comes on here just like this oh it's not spinning very well i got something on there that's why i didn't want to spin okay oh i got one over 14 inches oh here we go i'm not putting it in there very well let's do this again much larger but I just went backward in the run right there and I got him just a little bit in the back of the hole gorgeous looking number nine number nine. Oh yeah perfect size put him on the grill how do you guys cook your truck took me a long time to figure out I don't really care for it anything else but grilled grilled trout, either right on the grill or in a foil pan or on a smoking stock. Hang on, I got to put them in our water and let some light up. Here we go. Got full of weeds here. Oh, well, this guy, he's in the front of the rapids and he is full. He's been feeding hard and he's chubby as chubby can be. Heavy flank, nice chubby guy. Beautiful number 11. Right up front, they're all over in here. It just takes a while for them to catch up to the lure. I really guess it's a Got him out of this hole finally. I seen some nice ones in here, but finally got a nice fish. It looks like 13, 14 right there. Beautiful fish. Nice looking current over there. Oh, look at the health of these fish. They are so fat. There we go. Oh, and oh, he might have it down in there a ways. Well, not that I can't grab. Here, grab that. Oh, I'll take care. I'll do it the right way instead of tearing it out of there. I'll back it out correctly. Just like that. And how big? Was it 13? No, 12 and a half. Just 12 and a half. But he's a uh, old number 11, I believe. Oh, yes. Oh, he's going down through all the different. Try it all the way down through there. Yeah, there's one right at the end. He zoomed up on it. He zoomed right behind it, all the way up and got it. He was to the right of the rapids. He came left and grabbed it up. Oh, oh yes, come on, swirl out there. Just tire out just a little bit. Tire out. There you go. Tire out. Just calm down there. Hole number 12. 
possible number 12. Oh, he's about a 12. 12 inch, that is. 12 to 13, let's see. 12 to 13. Oh, yeah, he's right on 12. 12 and a quarter, 12. Whole number 12. He's 12 inches long, and he's fish number 12. Let's see if I can get another one on. See what happened there. He was nicer. He was better than the first one. Look at that far bank. Isn't that delicious looking? All right, let's uh, check it out. Oh, what was that? Oh yeah, look at him, look at him. Come on, buddy, come on. He chased it and I had several heads. He grabbed it and would shake his head and would come right out. You just got to get at the right angle. Ooh, that wind is brisk. Oh, he bounced it right there again. He hit it. Pulled my rod right over. Here we go. Ooh, look at that one. Did you see him turn sideways? He hit it. There's one. He didn't hit it hard, he just swallowed up behind it. Oh. Oh. Okay, pulling him out of the hole because I, I want to keep catching him out of there, just so you know. Uh, fish number 13 it is only about 12 and a half. Good looking fat guy, super looking. He's only 12 and a half. There he goes. Zoom, 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 zoom. And, oh, look at this nice big edge, and there's big fish in there. Years ago, 
I seen one in here that was about, oh, about five pounds. Right in this little corner. And of course that fish is probably long gone dead. It's been a long time. I gotta get it more lefty. Oh yeah, just get the right angle. That's all you gotta do. He came out when I threw it in there from my head. Threw it back at him. Oh yeah. Go get him. Glad he grabbed it. Reach backwards, go backwards against the old current, and there we go. Oh, he's a little bland looking. Just one barely didn't even pierce him. It was just kind of lodged in his upper lip. How big is he? Oh, he's only about, yeah, he's only about 11 and a half. 11. Not even. 11. Nice. Fish number 13. Fish number 13. And I'm not out for quantity. I'm actually looking for quality. Let's get a couple few that are really big. How small this one is. This is what I thought I was going to be getting, you know, today. But uh, I'm getting more fish, more bigger fish, with uh, the clarity of the water being so tinted. The bigger ones are hitting. That was number 14. Nice little guy. Way right next to the stuff. Oh, something hit it. Something there. And it still, oh, it, it came right up to the edge of the sand and it went out. Nice. Should be a few fish in this one. There's one nice fish. Number 15. I caught number 14 and had to push him back in after he fell off my hook at my feet. There we go. So that there would be number 15. Oh, I could see there being a lot of fish in this here. This is so fun, just bam. There's one, missed him. He didn't hook himself. Oh, you notice I changed over to the old Panther Martin. I got a little tired of using the old Maps XD and it was not spinning correctly and not hooking them correctly. So I changed over to one of my other favorites and you know, you've seen this many times. It's a quarter ounce number six Panther Martin and it works very well. And all year round, I take the barbs off. Sometimes I make mistakes, but most of the time, I take the barbs off. Look at that one right at the end. He came up onto the sand and hit it right there. He was a nice 12 and a half, 13 inch fish. I'm gonna work here to number oh, 16. Not that large, but he'll count if I get him in. Oh. Oh, I like that when they unhook, they're, they're hooked so daintily and you can, can pop them right off of there. This is about 11 inches, 10 and 3 quarter, 11 for no number 16. Got them right next to us. Look at how this water is. And I'll get another one out of here. I got bumps the first two casts, so I imagine I'll keep getting them out of here. This is full of fish. There's one right there. Had one. Oh, and I had them turned right there. It was a nice one. Oh, see how they're... Hitting it very slow and soft. There, hit it. Yeah, come on, there's two hits. I had two of them that time. Oh, they're willing to bite today, they are. There we go, and he's a little guy too. Oh, he got off. He just zoomed right off. Went down below us too. Oh, that was fun. Nice fish, right out front. Oh, pulling her straight, look at this. Nice looking, what is that, a rainbow? Almost looks like a rainbow, see that? It is. That is a rainbow trout. I've never caught a rainbow on this water before. This is unusual. It's, it must have gotten away from uh, somebody's farm up there, you know. Somebody's trout raising farm, that is. Look at the old rainbow. Look at this. Nice size rainbow, too. Very nice. How long is it? It is 14 and a half, 14 and a half inch rainbow. Beautiful. Look at that. Awesome. I haven't caught a rainbow in these waters in a long time. Now watch. I'll catch a brook trout and I'll get the old trifecta. Three trout out of one water, no doubt. And I just had a guy commenting on getting the old Grand Slam, the old brookie and brown and rainbow out of one set of water. And I can't believe it. 
now I just got to get a brookie because they're in here. They're more towards the top, but they're in here. Oh my gosh, I got two of the three going for the brookies. I need a brookie. Oh, if I get a brookie, I'll call uh, the video of the old Grand Slam. They're super nice. It's changed a bit from last year. It's much more in the open. Come on, where are you? Big one. Oh, look at three of them right at my feet were at it. They're all over the place, just below me. They were diving all over it, just below me here, right all over that sand. They were all little, but there was still a whole bunch. There's one. I had one. There's one. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay, I gotta let some more line on. I'm underneath some branches here, so I gotta swing them in. Just a little guy. Oh, and he twisted his way off. Oh, number 17. He's a good looking guy. I've had a couple other guys swinging on in from being caught and they just drop off. There's a few of them and I haven't counted them. They're just little extra little bouncing bonuses, you know. Oh yeah, right out of the rapids. Nice fish too. Look at the size of this thing. Nice, number 18. He's a good looking guy. How long was he? Almost 13, just under 13. Fish number 18? Just under 13. Ooh, fast, fast water, and they're in there. Ooh, there we go. Little guy. This has always been deep around this curve. I've seen some pretty big fish in here. So. I'm just trying to get the big ones before the little ones get to it. There we go. Zoom up there again. Oh, I went way past. See that? I went almost to the other bank. I don't know why, but my battery power is diminishing. I might not have had it fully charged up when I came out today. I'm only halfway through my stretch. This is a gorgeous looking hole though. Look at this. I imagine there's a mounter. Big old trophy in this here hole. Oh, there's a nice fish. Here we go. This could be number 19. But yeah, I'm uh, thinking I'm going to run out of power here. And if so, I'm just going to have to uh, give you a, a final count later on what I caught. And uh, maybe I'll have a little bit of juice left for a large fish. Maybe if I save some battery power, I'll just wait for the big fish. But here's number 19 and he's got it way in there. Mm. My battery died. It was a real fun day and I caught lots of fish. And uh, as you can see, this is crazy. We got a lot more cold temperatures on the way and we're into April, but uh, Back on May 23rd, when I just had this video made, I did real well, and the darn battery cashed out halfway through. I had 37 fish and all. Did not get a brookie, but I got another rainbow. So I had 37 and two. The biggest one was an 18 and a half inch male. Beautiful kipe on the end of its lower jaw and the big swoop up to the hump on its back. It was just gorgeous. So I got to see one real nice fish on the end of my line, the others, uh, they swam away. So the sun dogs, that was awfully cool. And uh, I believe this year is going to be a very interesting year. So hang on to your shorts, people, because uh, a lot's going to be happening. And uh, we'll do some good fishing, too. Okay, God bless y'all. I love you. Bye now.